I think I'm now up to having been in Antarctica, I think seven times in the last 15 years. So the most recent expedition I had to Antarctica was to a really remote part of West Antarctica. It's home to the most concerning glaciers in the world, I would argue, Thwaites Glacier and Pine Island Glacier. Those two glaciers hold back quite a lot of ice that we were worried is going to flow into the ocean and, and raise sea levels. Near Thwaites Glacier, the most important glacier in the world, we don't know what the temperature variability has been over the last 50 years, 100 years. So we wanted to get way out there um, near these glaciers to get especially the first records of modern climate year by year that we can reconstruct from ice cores. We started our journey in, in New Zealand. Then it's a 10 day transit across the Southern Ocean, sort of angling over into the South Pacific Ocean. The ship got within just, just one kilometer of the edge of, of this ice rise. Now we have quite a lot of equipment for an eight person camp and two drilling operations. All of that had to be lifted by helicopter to the camp. And we were off to off to the races, off to experience a, a massive snowstorm, windstorm. We literally had uh, yeah, zero visibility. I got out of my tent the next morning. I could not see anything besides my tent. And if you walked away from your tent, you start getting blown sideways. Once the weather cleared, I was like, okay, go, let's set up the drills. We're drilling the cores one meter at a time and then cutting them into 50 centimeter sections. One downside is that our ice core boxes, which are just insulated uh, styrofoam boxes, um, but the only provider that, that my South Korean colleague, Young Chol, could find had black boxes. You put them out in the sun, they start warming up pretty fast. Every time we filled a box, I would take it out behind our drill tent and then bury it in the snow. So we ended up with a bit of a graveyard behind our drill setup. We ended up with two 150 meter deep cores, and that ends up being 50-ish of these boxes. Those cores were on the, the Iran from late January all the way until early May. So I'm really excited to see what the cores actually tell us. And hopefully I'm right that, it, you know, they're going to give us some really important, much more direct information about what's going on right at the ice ocean atmosphere sort of triple point where all of these complex processes are interacting.